Hi, and welcome back to another Fun Friday Science video. I'm Griffin, and this is Mari, and today we're going to be studying microhabitats. We are going to use some of the skills that we have learned through the last few months of observations uh, to observe a very small area in depth called a microhabitat. So we are doing a video on microhabitats, meaning that you look really carefully at one place to see how many things you can notice. So we are spending five minutes with Griffin and Mari looking around here to see everything we can notice in this little pool. One of the things that we noticed and why we chose this place is because this was a flowing river earlier this spring and now we're down to this being the last little pool everything else is dry 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 and so we were curious what was still left in here and we were also a little nostalgic because now summer is ending it's going to be fall soon and we're noticing more seasonal changes so we thought it would be interesting to notice what was happening just in one small place and see everything that you can. So you don't need a pool to do this. You could mark off a little piece of your backyard and take a micro hike right through and notice all the things. And when you're done, you could show somebody else all the things you found in a little area. So maybe like a 10 by 10 or a smaller area. And you can notice all the abiotic and biotic things. So biotic, are the living and the abiotic are, are the living. not living yep um there's a lot of, there's caddisflies on the bottom and there's um boatmen the boatmen the, and the under the and water like water skippers so and water pennies on the top of the water yeah the water pennies also can go under like when you catch them and, and you, you remember and from when we were under. looking at the benthic macroinvertebrates so those are the yeah. ones that live underwater for part of their life and then they hatch and they become something else, like, a, well, not really something else, but a mayfly, right? Yeah. Lives in, uh, under the water with those legs and then it hatches and actually becomes an actual fly. Oh, Does the yeah. caddis fly hatch and become something yeah. else? It just hides in its shell and like moves across the bottom. Yeah, but eventually what does he do, Griffin, or she? Uh, they become a fly. Yeah, an actual caddis fly. But what about things like the water boatmen or the water skippers? They just stay. Yeah, they're, the that's their pen. final, yeah, and those little things that are swimming around on the top. So this is their final stage of life is in the form they're in. They live their life in the water even as a full bug. But the benthic macroinvertebrates hatch into something else. Oh, here's a boatman. Yeah, if you guys look carefully right here, there's little tiny bugs that are swimming around. So the closer you look, right? And we pick up rocks and we can find things underneath them. Is this a caddis fly? Yeah, show the camera. Yeah, they build their shells. Penny. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. And watch when you throw it back in, it will go under the water and swim, and then it will rise back. Oh yeah, you can tell if you look at them for a while because they actually move. Yep, there he's right here. There. Yep. Amazing water. Yeah, what did you guys notice here? <gasps> oh man, this is as cold as before. So where do you think this water is coming from? He's all underground. Yeah. Underground, Ground. yeah. Yeah, and what about the water what out are you there? Seeing? Warm. It's warm. warm. Yeah, because it's just getting heated in the. This is a, like when it was before when this is a really big pool. Yeah. Everything was this cold. I know. And what's in there swimming? Water. So many water pennies and skippers. More water pennies because they're but they're really small. <laughs> what are that other things really you guys cool. have noticed here in your pools? I mean, it's all really one pool. It's connected. This is just part of it yeah this is like coming from yeah. all like underground yeah but what other things have you seen so you mentioned caddisflies boatmen water pennies water, oh, I caught water, water skippers, skippers. I know. <laughs> what did you guys notice back here um, it's cold though yeah it's like all groundwater yeah it's a lot colder 
and yeah. there's a lot of bugs just smushed together mainly water pennies and water skippers but also I see some caddis flies. And Mari, what did you say? Why because, do you think there's more caddis flies? Um, because it's really cold water. Yeah, they like colder water. So what abiotic things are over here, Griffin? Um, sticks and pine needles. And, and pine cones, yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you guys found a few dead things floating. What did you find, Mar? Bees? Yeah. And, or, and bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Any other observations? Um, it's a lot warmer yeah. over here. And then, and over there. So do you guys like looking at one spot really closely? Yeah. Yeah, this pulls together some of the skills that we've used from earlier in the summer. The one where you look at everything you can see, hear, touch, smell. We could have drawn, but we didn't. Um, we used that time, like our five minute meditation, right? To notice everything we could in a really tiny area. So you can notice just one thing or you can notice an area. And we used our skills with learning about plants, yeah. insects, yeah. rocks. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you observe your own microhabitats. And we're gonna take a little break as we're heading back to school this fall and we've done about six months straight. We hope you go back and look at some of the other fun Friday science lessons and we'll be back soon. See you next time.